Welcome back to the Confessor's Palace. It's been a long, long time since we've been here. Well, it's not for me. It's been a long some time since I've did a video here. Mostly because what we were doing inside the palace was just repetitiveness. Um, I've got some friends helping, so I've got ooh, get close. the Comp Nettie Challenge going on here, which is a challenge for Comp Side Girl, who's been helping out, and Looney Nettie who's been helping out in previous videos. Um, their challenge is basically to decorate the spaces in the palace that are left. All of the rooms have been done now, but there's corridors and seating areas and all sorts going on that are still around, and I've left that to them, basically. They're quite happy with that. I mean, Nettie's been going like crazy on one of the towers, so they go like that. The only rules they've got are uh, only decorate areas where I've marked with redstone or the occasional sign uh, to remove all the redstone so there's none left around. Stick with the usual medieval calming feel. Um, try not to repeat too much of what's previously been done. New ideas were always welcome. Uh, no repurposing of rooms and creating rooms without obviously consulting myself or Kavolta first. That's no, just a little challenge for them just to get the rest of this done. This walkway is still here for somewhere. But we've got a couple of few changes here, like we've now got named portraits of previous confessors, or the first confessors, in here, because it's Magda Sirius. But we just made up some names, made their little portraits, and hung them up. We've got the usual library and everything this way hasn't changed. There's a lot of floors that have been redecorated. This still hasn't had anything done to it. And I don't think it is getting anything done to it, if I remember rightly. Yes, it, for their challenge, things like this, there's uh, redstone here so they can decorate all the way through here. This corridor just to make it more interesting. This room says decorate edges only no more than one block wide except in places. So they can do like one block wide here. But then they can decorate the whole of this alcove area here and in between all the fireplaces. Obviously they'll have to be wary that they can't put wood there. <laughs> so it's that sort of marking for them. Um, I wanted to go up and show you some of the things that have changed. All the confessor's rooms for example and the staircase itself had a little bit of an adjustment fastest way up is on the other side or in Comsai's case I would end a pearl up the stairs but I'll take them run just for fun right so this area here massive change to it the floor's been adjusted there's seating areas bookcases drink stands they can have a drink of water or tea <laughs> just everywhere and there's two brilliant statues this here is a red lightning bolt anyone who's seen the um, TV series or read the books will know what the significance of that is and we have the sort of truth all of this was decorated by Comsite Girl so thank you very much for that because it is awesome we also have the balcony here again Comsite just a little bit of decorating here just to make it a little bit less plain and bland but it works so definitely no complaining and all the confessors rooms are now done they will have a similar theming to this with a different color they're not all identical but I'm not going to show them all so this one here is a light blue room she's oh I thought she was missing a bed there but she's not okay but these were all done by Lunetti. And I think she redesigned them all about five or six times just to have a difference. The tree is still in place and it stays. The big picture. And if we carry on up, like I said, I'm not going to show all of the confessor's rooms. There are a few other places where things have changed if I can remember how to get to them. <laughs> Actually, I think it's here. Nope. So it is down there. 
Yeah, I've got my extra overlays on still. This one. Hello, chest. Why are you there? Right, so out here. Here's another one that's been fully decorated. This one was Compside Girl as well. Got another brilliant garden area. Not too much, not too simple. It's just fitting. It's clearer over towards the guards area than it is over here. A little bit more busy the way in through the towers there. And up here. This I like really much loads. Because these are like flowers and they're quite fun. They make for a good hiding place. <laughs> I have noticed though that there is a light issue around here. But it might not be too much of a problem. Uh, Comso Girl also did these corridors a little bit for the guards. Obviously they don't need too much because they're guards. They're anything too much in the here would be just clutter for them. Get in the way of them doing their duties. So kept plain, it's kept simple on purpose. And because it has access to the confessors, it's not going to be restricted. So it's kept that way on purpose. This room here, um, Looney Nettie did do this room, but the chairs that she had in place were really bulky chairs and there was only two of them so I changed it a little bit and especially the chairs because they're now smaller I added little cushions and I put the bookshelves along the wall a little better than what she had because they were a little bit randomly thrown against the wall <laughs> so same over this way just adjusted slightly what she had um, the only other thing that I've got left that's new is the towers. Um, not this tower, obviously, because that must be comp size tower. This one over here, though. This one was done by Looney Netty. She did all the way up the tower, each floor differently. It's a bit annoying that they turn around and face that way. Not nice looking at the back of her. But if you go up to the next floor, you get something completely different. Look, little dog statue. I'm not entirely sure about these, but there we go. <laughs> I said they could do what they wanted, providing it stuck with the theme. That's what I got. But it's fine. It doesn't look too bad, so. And again, different room, storage. And this leads out to the um, compressor's walkway stairway. The other thing that we've done, well, actually, while we've left these guys to it, Cavolta and I have moved on to a, another outdoor project, as there were two outdoor sections left. We'd already done this side of the palace, with all the farms and farm buildings here. This has been done for a while. Everything from the pathway down across has already been done. But this side has now got something new building up. It even has a tree on top. It actually has a couple of trees. No, one tree. I can remember. One tree on top. You'll notice that there's no windows in this build at the moment we have literally just built the walls and we will put windows in when we decorate the rooms uh, this way here is what we're calling king's row so it's only going to be three palaces whereas it should be several palaces in the books but we're doing three palaces just three floors high or oh, three or three or four floors high oh god need a drink going crazy that's better. Yep, three or four floors high. With a look out at the palace, I did not clear my throat. <clears throat> and um, just decorating them up for royal visitors from 
other lands, basically. So all we've only so far is floors and ceilings and walls. But as we pl planned on doing windows as and when we do the rooms, or if Comsite or Netty want to do any of these ones, they can add um, windows as they go. So this is the first one. This palace here is complete. And it does include a garden on the top. Let me see if I can get up there quick and show you. Come on, there we go. So yeah, it's got a nice little garden on the top here. Oop, nope, fell down. Ow. <laughs> there is a way up to it by foot, but it's your miles running all the way through. <laughs> Which I won't do now. This one here is what we've worked on a little bit today. Uh, we've got the first floor, all the floors in, no roof, no ceilings, and we started laying out the second floor. Well, Cabal laid out, I started building up walls. And the other building has only got the ground floor with flooring. Ooh. Dark spots are not good. Obviously we still need to work on the pathway here. And possibly a way down into this village city. See. Somehow. Probably down the side of the mountain here. Might be two ways down. Yep. So again, just the ground floor. And a stairway up. That spot. I swear those dark spots move. Some resources ready to go. Right, so nothing else has changed in the city. Nothing else has really changed drastically within the palace. Just those few places that were updated. Um, obviously the lighting throughout the palace is now done. And that was what I was focusing on. And that's where I stopped recording. Because it was getting a bit tedious. So I was like, I was getting bored doing it. I can't imagine what it would have been like for someone to watch that. So apologies if you for it. If you stuck with it. Thank you very much. I will get back to recording as we decorate these three buildings. But not until then. So we're going to build these buildings first, then decorate them. And that's when I'll start recording again. And hopefully at some point I'll manage to make a map of the palace. Which Comsai Girl has said you will help with. I'm holding her to it. Because I have no idea how to work this map. Because nothing is on... A level there's no ground floor first floor second floor third floor it's all jagged flooring so it's kind of complicated to work out but we'll figure it out somehow hopefully um but yeah if i can manage it then i will make that map available to anyone i hope <laughs> if not good luck finding your way around the palace as and when we release this map <laughs> see you later